So nearly two years ago, our council, Northern Beaches Council, announced to the media that we were going to wipe out single-use plastics on the Northern Beaches. And our team, the Waste Education team, was handed this task. <gasps> So we're here today to share with you about how we tackled this monumental task. So at the time, we were a newly amalgamated council made up of three councils. We had no single-use plastic policy, so we set to work straight away uh, to develop this policy. And within, I think, about a, a week or two, we had written our policy, so we're really pleased with that. Fortunately, one of our former councils had, did have a, a single-use plastic policy for events, so we were able to rework and adapt that policy. Now, as a result of our council's call to action, uh, two policies were adopted in August 2017. So our single-use plastic policy, which is all about our council internally reducing plastics within our operations, as well as supporting our community and our business to do the same. Um, our second policy is our waste minimisation for functions and events policy, which is, is about eliminating plastics from events that are held across the Northern Beaches. And Emma is going to talk to, about that a little later. So to implement our policies, we developed a campaign called Swap This For That, which um, initially we focused on the four, the big four single-use plastics. So the disposable coffee cup, the plastic bag, the plastic straw and the plastic water bottle. And we created a, a video very early on, which we're really, really proud of because in that video there's uh, staff that are the actors and also, uh, the video has been viewed by over, 60, over 64,000 times, which is our council's most watched video ever. So we'd just like to share that with you now. So I hope you enjoyed our video. Uh, so to enable behaviour change, we designed a pledge, uh, a paper pledge as well as you're able to take it online. And in the pledge, we asked our residents to commit to giving up one of those big four single-use plastic items for a month or more. We've had over 3,000 residents make that pledge. And a number of months after they make the pledge, we would follow up and we'd find out how they were going. And of those people that responded, everyone said that they had kept their pledge. Many people said they went above and beyond that pledge. Uh, and we asked them to provide feedback. And a, an example we have is, I've taken this one step further and worked with my son's school to stop more plastic going to waste, including rehoming lost plastic lunchboxes. So we've had some great feedback from our community. Uh, another component of our campaign, our Swap This For That campaign, is that we have images of our big four single-use plastic items and their sustainable alternatives on banners, on flags, at workshops, schools, different events, main roads, all across the northern beaches. And you can see in our 
the, the first image up there is uh, the flags that we had up during the fifth episode of The War on Waste. We've got Craig Rucastle came to Manly and, um, and we, were also, we were also there on that day encouraging our residents to make that pledge to give up the big four single-use plastics. We're often at council events with our Swap This For That marquee. And we also have a number of humorous and interactive activities uh, that are part of our campaign, such as we installed permanent water stations across the northern beaches, and at every single location, we had um, chalk art there with a waste message. We have had sand, sand sculptures with waste messages. We've had movie nights, both at indoor and outdoor venues across the northern beaches. And we have, we've shown the, the movie A Plastic Ocean as well as Blue and to help our residents um, come up with ways that they themselves can reduce their, their plastic impact. We created another film, another video, uh, which is uh, targeted for our NIPA groups and also our school groups across the Northern Beaches. We, the actors in that were actually from different clubs and um, We've, so the focus, the focus of this video is to encourage those surf clubs to eliminate single-use plastics from their barbecues and also for the school groups to eliminate or reduce their plastics in their school canteens. So the, the video goes for about three and a half minutes, but we do have a social cut of it. It's a bit shorter. We'd like to share with you today. We hope you enjoyed our, our videos today. <laughs> they're, they're on our website if, you, if you'd like to, to watch them and, and share them with your networks would be great. A main focus area of our Swap This For That campaign is our internal operations and our, how we engage with our staff. Across our, our council we have over 1,800 staff and we have provided all our staff with a reusable keep cup um, to, to use when they're representing council and when they're out and about just in their everyday lives. Across our council, we have 26 plastic-free ambassadors. So they, they're in each and every business unit and they're our champions of our single-use plastic policy. So they they work at um, trying to find ways within their business units that they can reduce their reliance on single-use plastic. So just a couple of success stories within our, within our council, in our teams. Our childcare centres previously were handing out plastic bags for all their, the kids with their soiled clothing and we've now issued a reusable wet bag for each child and uh, so, so that's eliminated that, that um, use of those plastic bags. Another example is our parks and reserves team. Every time that they were laying out new turf or grass um, to our parks and reserves and sports fields, they would use a product that had a plastic mesh across the bottom of it. So that's just left in the, in the soil. Uh, so they have found a, a alternative to that, that um, that we no longer have that plastic issue when they're rolling out their turf, which is really great. Every, every month we have a special staff induction day and representatives from our team present to our new staff about our single-use plastic policy. And we do issue every new staff member also with a reusable keep cup 
and a reusable water bottle. And, and again, we encourage, we encourage them to use those reusable items, uh, definitely when they're representing council out and when they're out and about just in their, in their um, everyday. So in the last year, we have, we're looking beyond the big four single-use plastics. We have created a brochure about how to have a single-use plastic-free party, and our target market is all of our organise all of our people that book council venues, and um, so that's been that's been well received. Last July, last plastic-free July, we ran 14 beeswax wrap making workshops, and they were so popular that they booked out. They, they just booked out really quickly. So we developed a video, and it's a one minute video, how to make your own beeswax wrap, which is available on our website, if you'd like to, like to see it. We are also actively working with our businesses across the Northern Beaches to help them reduce their reliance on single use plastics. We have appointed two full-time staff members which have been working on a, a plan, a strategy um, for this to be very effective. And that, um, that starts next month. They're actually going to launch it next month. So we're really excited about that. Um, and just finally, we, we um, at the end of last year, at the Keep Australia Beautiful New South Wales Awards, our Swap This For That campaign won the Environmental Communications Award. So we were just thrilled to bits about that. <laughs> so I'd like to hand over now to Emma, who will talk about our waste minimisation for functions and events policy. Thanks, Catherine. So this policy was one of the two that we started out with. So we are given the task of wiping out single-use plastics, pretty, pretty straightforward task. So we've got the two policies and I'm going to talk about the second one, which is in relation to events. So why did we bother with an events waste policy? Well, we have a lot of events. We've got about a thousand and three hundred of those are, are major events. Um, and this policy applies to all events held on public land. Uh, that's both council run events and privately run events. And we know that events can um, generate a lot of single use plastic. And because we have uh, control of the approval process, we were able to have discussions with um, event owners, uh, event organisers, um, and assist them with meeting a, a set of guidelines that we developed. So we set the policy first and then we developed guidelines and within those guidelines was sort of an explanation of why we're doing this policy, what the environmental concerns are, so people understood where we were coming from, uh, and also a template uh, waste management plan that guided the event organisers through um, sort of assessing how much waste um, was likely to be generated from the event, what the waste types were, what the amount of bins that they might need were, um, etc. So as part of our, our policy of no single use plastic, um, that applies to all plastic packaging, right down to tomato sauce sachets and sushi fish, we, um, we don't allow that. Um, in addition to that, we don't allow bottled water or balloons. So balloons are another a focus area for our council. And I suppose Catherine and I were reflecting before on, on some of the earlier presenters um, saying, you know, people have to pay attention. And, and it just made us appreciate as uh, how our council um, are paying attention. And we are giving this, these tasks to do, which can be a bit of a you know, burden at the time, but it's fantastic that we have the opportunity to have that support coming from the top to implement these policies. So was it all smooth sailing? Well, no, we got uh, pushback, of course. Some people were on board and already um, ready to go, and others, including our own events team, were resistant to the changes. Um, so again, it was just about working with people, talking to them, reassuring them. A lot of people were, uh, you know, might have been running the same event for 15 years. They've done it in a certain way, and they don't want to change their formula. 
Um, and one of the areas of, of greatest concern was um, in regard to plastic water bottles. So especially events such as fun runs, um, it's always like the really feel-good charity walkathons that <laughs> you sort of have to have these hard discussions with, and you feel a little guilty. Um, but I think the and concerns from our own waste, um, sorry, our own events team, um, in relation to large events such as Australia Day, where it's you know peak summer, and the concern is about hydration and and access to water. Um, and yeah, there's just a bit of fear that we've we've come across um, in relation to that. So we invested with help from the EPA's um, funding in uh, portable water stations. So we've bought 14 of these. There, you can see them there. You can link them up or you can have them separately. They hook up to taps and there's bubblers and then um, uh, stations where you can refill your water bottles. And part of the conversation that we're having is, you know, just, just let your people know, bring their own water bottle. You know, most people are pretty accustomed to that nowadays. An example of a big um, popular event, as you can see from those photos, that attracts thousands of people to Manly is the Vistla Surf Pro. Uh, it's been running for a number of years. It's a nine-day event. Um, and uh, yeah, we were able, through the use of the water um, fountains, to divert um, over 6,000 water bottles from that event. Another example of a success story, Avalon Market Day, our largest market day on the beaches, 40,000 visitors, 400 storeholders. They were really on board with council's policy and out of those storeholders, we had 10 stalls that had minor non-compliance issues with our policy. In 2017, we uh, did a litter audit. This is prior to the implementation of the policy and you can see the results of the litter that we collected. Most of that was single-use plastics compared to the following year after the um, changes had come into place, showing, uh, you know, the only thing that had changed was the introduction of the policy, and you can see the immediate impact of that. So in summary, we've got uh, Swap This um, for that umbrella program. We're working with our community, with our stalls, with our pledges, with our own internal staff, uh, and internal operations, our event management plan, and um, our soon to be launched business program. So I hope you can take one or a few of those and make them your own and uh, set about tackling single use plastics where you live and work.